So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the solver tool in Microsoft Excel. This allows you to set an objective cell and your solver will calculate a value for that cell. You can either minimize, maximize that value or set a specific value based on certain constraints. So in my example here, uh, I'm running a catering company and I'm serving three types of meals, standard, vegetarian and gluten free and I need to determine the quantity of each meal to sell to my customer here. Now, as you can see, I have some constraints over here, which I'll be going through in just a moment. And my goal here is to minimize my total cost. This is the cost of producing. And I also have some constraints regarding the delivery van as well. So the first constraint is that I need to produce at least 80 vegetarian meals, okay? And as you can see, I have the cost of each meal written down as well over here. Um, and then I also need to produce at least 120 standard meals. And my kitchen can only prepare a maximum of 80 gluten-free meals. Okay. Now, essentially, whenever I add however many meals I'm producing, that's going to multiply it by the cost per meal and give me the total cost I have to pay to produce those meals. And over here in cell D5, I can see my total cost. The goal here is to minimize my total cost. So it's cell D5, this cell here, we want to minimize as much as possible while meeting these constraints. Now there's another constraint as well, which is that when I deliver these meals, my delivery van can fit a maximum of 20 boxes. And each box can fit a maximum of 20 meals. So what I mean by that is, let's say I produce 20 meals in total. So let's say, for example, um, I produce a total of 15 meals. So five standard, five vegetarian, and five gluten free. That would be 15 total meals. And that would be one box because one box can carry up to 20 meals. OK, so over here, I'm just using a formula to calculate how many meals I'm producing for each one divide by 20 to determine how many boxes I need. And in cell E5 here, I'm calculating the total number of boxes, which needs to be less than 20. Okay, so now with these constraints and with, with my objective cell being um, cell D5, we can go ahead and we can use solver to determine how many of each uh, type of meal I need to produce to minimize my total cost, okay? so. First of all, if you don't have solver yet, all you're going to do is go into file, go into your uh, options. And after that, go into add ins. And you're going to select Excel add ins and click on go and just check off the solver add in and that's going to get you the solver add in there. OK, so now I can go ahead and I can launch solver and I can start to add my parameters into this Dropbox here. So my objective cell is the total cost and I want to minimize this total cost. So I'll select min and which cells do I want to change? Well, I want solver to determine the quantity of each type of meal I need to produce. So the variable cells in that case will be these three cells from B2 to B4. Okay. Now there are constraints as we talked about, and we're going to add each of these constraints now. So I'm going to click on add. And the first constraint, it says we need at least 80 vegetarian meals. So that means that this cell over here, which is the vegetarian meals, B3, has to be at least 80. So greater than or equal to 80. And the next constraint is that we need at least 120 standard meals. Standard meals are in cell B2. And again, greater than or equal to 120. Simple as that. And now the next constraint is not so simple and I'll explain why in a moment. It says the kitchen can prepare a maximum of 80 gluten free meals. So I can click on this cell here greater than or equal to 80. And I'll click on add. But there's a problem with this. If I do this solver will determine that in order to minimize total cost, I need to produce zero gluten free meals. Why is that? Because as you can see, there's a maximum level of gluten free meals, but there is no minimum level. 
And because gluten-free meals are the most expensive, as you can see as $12 per meal, Solver will determine that I will produce zero gluten-free meals. So as such, I need to also add a minimum in order to prevent this from happening. So for my minimum, I'm going to say we need at least 30 gluten-free meals. So I'm going to click on this once again and go into um, greater than or equal to uh, 30. And I'm just going to fix this over here. So I'm just going to go into our change right over here. And this needs to be actually less than or equal to 80. I accidentally put in greater than or equals to, but it needs to be less than or equal to because we have a maximum of 80, okay? So I'm gonna click on okay once again here, and I'll add another constraint as well, which is that our total boxes, cell E5 here, has to be less than or equal to 20 because we can have 20 maximum boxes. And lastly, there's one more constraint you need to be aware of, uh, which is that these three cells, which uh, Solver will be uh, determining, need to be INT, which is integer. Okay, they need to be whole numbers uh, because we can't produce seven and a half or eight and a half meals. They need to be discrete values. Uh, so this is gonna make sure that we're not producing seven and a half or 9.25 meals, okay? So I'm gonna click on okay here. And as you can see, I have all of my values loaded up. I have an objective cell, which is the total cost, which I'm minimizing by changing these three cells. So I'm determining uh, the value of these three cells, okay? And I have all of these constraints set up over here as well. It's that simple. And now I can simply go into solve. Solver will do the calculation for me. And I can go to keep solver solution, press okay. And as you can see, uh, the total cost, minimum total cost for me uh, to do this will be $2,200, okay? Because as you can see, we're producing at least uh, 80 vegetarian meals, we're producing 120 standard. Uh, we can prepare a maximum of 80 gluten-free meals and a minimum of 30, so we're making 30. And our delivery van capacity is also optimized, okay? So as you can see, we use Solver to solve a fairly complex problem with multiple constraints um, in just a few seconds, okay? So this is kind of the logic of Solver is that it allows you to solve these kinds of uh, complex problems easily when you have multiple constraints. And this is just one example, but there are many. You can use Solver for, you know, calculating what is the, what is the amount I need to sell to break even or transportation or warehouse optimization problems. All of those can be solved using Solver. And this was just one example that I showed you over here. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, uh, please do like, subscribe, and drop comments below if you have any questions. And I'll see you shortly on the next video.